hello everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Samiza and this is my May plan with me video as usual before we start these are all the supplies I'm gonna be using in this month setup and as you guys probably know um, I did ask you guys on my Instagram story about the theme you guys want to see me create and some of you suggested sunflowers also one of you guys actually suggested pink sunflowers so that's what we are going to be doing today I've seen a lot of sunflower themes before but today we are going to be doing a very simple slash minimal sunflower theme for my May setup so as you guys can see, I start off my main setup by drawing these little donut shapes in the corner of my page. I originally wanted to draw the sunflowers on the left hand side of the page as I usually do, but then I decided to change my mind. After I finish drawing the sunflowers with my pencil, I then draw the sunflowers with my Tombow Dual Brush Pen in code 761 I also decided to go back to the pink sunflowers and recolor some of them with my yellow my liner brush pen To complete drawing the sunflowers, I then went ahead and draw the seeds by adding the little dots in the center of the flowers. For the title, I am using this calligraphy style that you have probably seen in most of my previous setup. I've been liking this calligraphy style a lot lately. I feel like it really complements any flowery theme because of how elegant it look I have to admit I wasn't really sure on the placement of the sunflowers at first but I really really like how this cover page turned out Moving on to the next page, I decided not to include a quote page next to my cover page. Instead, I went on and drew like a sunflower theme wallpaper on this page to complete the whole look. So for this page, I just draw a few more sunflowers around the page. But this time, the style is a bit different. The design is actually inspired by my wrapping paper that I've bought for my art journal. And speaking of the art journal, I know I never really shared my art journal on my Instagram mainly because I do not want to break my feet sort of but I'm planning to do a flip through once the journal is complete so let me know if that's something you guys want to see Back to this page, I finished the whole design by adding these little dots to fill in the empty space around the sunflowers And of course, my setup is not complete without the monthly log. So for this monthly log, I am using the same layout I used for my April setup. I have that video linked in my description in case you guys want to check it out. I am choosing this layout because it looks pretty minimal. Um, because my theme is already colorful in my opinion. So I wanted to tone down and minimize the overall look. The size of each day is 3 times 3 grids in case you guys are wondering. I also use the empty space in the bottom side of the page to write down all the notes or reminder I have for this month. And of course, to complete the whole decoration, I added another bunch of sunflowers in the corner of the page just like how I did for my cover page. It maybe look a little bit tricky to draw, but I promise it's not. It's very easy and straightforward. You guys can definitely draw it better than I do.
The next page is my quote page. Again, I don't do anything fancy on this quote page. And if any of you remember, this is almost the same design I did for my Apple quote page. I do not want to overdo everything because as I said, the sunflower is already looking very colorful and complicated. So I wanted to make sure that my whole setup for this month still have that minimal and neat vibes around it. For the quote, I am choosing a quote from a book called The Secret Garden. The quote says, if you look the right way, you can see that the whole world is a garden. Um, because let's be honest, life isn't all sunshine and rainbows. But once you allow a negative thought to take root, it can change the way you look at your life. So this quote is actually a good reminder for myself personally to always set my mind positively. Moving on to the next page, this is my habit tracker page. For this tracker, again, it's the same layout I've used previously. I don't have any specific reason as to why I am choosing the same layout, except that maybe I was hungry at the time of recording this video and I wanted to finish everything up as soon as I can so that I can eat. But anyway, to make things a little different, instead of throwing the flowers on the top corner of my page, I threw the sunflowers at the bottom of the page. But this time only in pink colors because I will use my yellow mild liner to fill in the tracker and that way everything will sort of come together when I finish filling in this tracker. Next on my setup is this Ramadan bingo. I am about to be completely honest with you guys. Um, I am not the most productive or bright during Ramadan. I usually sleep in a lot, but this year I intended to change my Ramadan routine. So hopefully this bingo can help me to achieve that. So for this bingo, I included a bunch of activities or things that I can do during fasting, such as read hadith, learn a new dua, make raya card and so on. And speaking of Ramadan, a lot of you guys actually suggested Ramadan theme and Lenten theme but I actually have done those theme during last year and last two years if I'm not mistaken so I do not want to do the same theme again um, this year so I choose something not related to Ramadan but instead I also included my Ramadan planning in this month setup the next and also the last spread for this month setup is of course my weekly spread. For this weekly spread, I decided to go for a one page spread instead of the usual two pages. On the right hand side of the page, I decided to include my iftar meal plans because as you probably know, I am currently living on my own so I need to prepare my own meals and my own iftar meals. Um, this is actually the first time I am preparing my own iftar meals and it kind of scares me to be honest because I do not know how to cook let alone cooking during fasting and with the global pandemic most of the restaurants and shops are closed so finger crossed hopefully I can survive eating my own cookings. Alright guys here's the final flip through of my main setup. Although it's kind of colorful, it still has that minimal vibes to it and I really like how it turned out. Um, it's very fun to draw as well so don't forget to tag me if you guys end up recreating this theme. Before I end this video, let me know if you guys have any questions and as usual, I would really appreciate it if you guys can help me grow my channel by liking and subscribing. Talk to you guys again hopefully in my next video. Until then, stay safe, happy Ramadan, bye bye.